Never criticize someone until you've walked a mile in their shoes. That way you'll be a mile away and you'll have their shoes. You're welcome. All right, so I have like 35 gallons of sap to boil down today. So I'm getting started early. It's morning still, and usually we don't start till even noon or whatever, or sometimes even later. But because we have so much today, and it seems like it's gonna be another nice day, we'll probably be able to collect again. I'm gonna fire this up and get it going early so we're not out here at night. <laughs> I forgot to bring a dang lighter. Try that. All right, better go get my lighter, I suppose, eh? Suppose. <sighs> Let's see how I do. I can get her going. The wood might be a wee bit wet. Alright, so I, I've emptied um, one, two and a half buckets, maybe, quite, not quite, but in here, it's pretty full. So hopefully get this fire just rolling and then we'll be able to boil it down fast. Got her loaded in there pretty good. Hi Sam. Sam's coming out to play soccer while we boil. Get this, get this boiled down. Can't wait to see how much we make. She's boiling pretty good today. I can't even see you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> bit here boiling it down I think it's at 212 right now so a little bit more to go don't mind the soot on my face I swear when I'm doing anything with fire I now touch my face way more so yeah it's been I've been out here since probably 10 o'clock in the morning it's now six o'clock at night but we're on to the last little bit so that's good probably gonna get about a gallon of syrup today so that's a pretty good day for us So we got about a gallon of syrup, which is really awesome. It's probably the best we've got. Well, it's definitely the best we've got this year. So that was fun. It took uh, pretty much the whole day to boil it down, but there's lots of it and I'm super happy about that. So we're on our way to go pick up a little Nigerian dwarf goat, a buck. We plan to breed him. So we're starting with him and then we're going to go buy him a girlfriend one day. Hopefully not too long. We should totally save. His name's Kyle. So All right. Change it. <laughs> You'll just come to whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we just got a goat. Yeah. And we're at Runamuck Farms hey, on YouTube. Yeah. Check them out below. Meet them. Yeah. They did the same thing as us. They moved here like a couple years ago. So <laughs> they get a lot more animals than us. So who doesn't like goats, right? Sorry, so I'm uh, Steve. Steve. Manda. Manda. Yeah. So check them out below and I'll link to their page. So we got him all in his bed for the night. He's going in. I got it all with some fresh hay. He's got lots of hay to eat, some food, some water. He's a little nervous with a long drive. But he'll be all right. Give me some crackers, baby. Hey. He's just trying to figure it all out. 
Okay. Fun. Nervous. So we got him all locked up for the night. Again, he's a Nigerian dwarf goat. We're gonna let him get snug for the night. He's got hay to eat, water, and we'll come check on him in the morning. All right, so it's first thing in the morning. We're gonna go check on our new little boy. I hear him in there going Mah! It's really cute. So Sam and I have some crackers for him because the previous owners told us that he really liked crackers. And I have some apple. He's gonna like it. One for me, one for the goat. The cracker is for dessert. Because he loves them, so I figured he'd like it for dessert. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. let's go. All right, let's go see. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello, sweet boy. Hello. Do you want to have an apple? Here. Do you want a treat? What do you think of that? Do you like apples? Oh, Sam, where's your cracker? I don't know if he likes apples. Here, do you want that? Are you not a fan of apples? Hey? You're just trying to figure out where everything is. What's going on? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. I know. Give him his cracker. Okay, you'd prefer that than an apple. Oh, you're a stinker. You stinker, you don't want my apple. This is Mama's apple. No. Not a big fruit guy. Prefer the carbs? Okay. The crackers and breads. What is he doing? What's he doing? Try yep. I don't have any more treats. I have apple. What do you think, big guy? You don't know where you are. You don't know where you are. Here. Here, you try and give him the apple. You want to try? What do you think, buddy? What do you think, big guy? No? All right, we'll get you some bread then. You yeah, must prefer that. Bread. Yep. We'll have to go get him some. Doesn't want the apple. Guess okay. He like fruit. Guess not. You're a nice boy. Yes, you are. Oh, you're a nice boy. <laughs> we just went in to get him some some bread to see if you'd like that. Chaos. He's not happy. We left got, him. We got him a rat. I know. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. You're loud. We gotta get you friends. Don't we? You're a loud boy. We gotta get you a friend. Are you loud? What's you yelling for? Well, let, you can go in and feed him. He likes it. Okay. Let's get him. Hey. No? You just want it out of our hand? Thank you. Just to put it in smaller pieces. So that's our boy. He's the only one at the moment, but we plan on getting uh, two more this week. So we're going to get one, another male that I'm going to have to weather. So I'm going to band him and then a female, which we will breed with this boy. So we're going to pick them up probably Friday and bring them here so he has some friends. But And we will let him out of his cage to like free range and hang out with us when we're outside. The only reason I didn't put, let him out this morning is because he's just so brand new here. I really want him to get comfortable being here and with his cage and with his little house and stuff. Like I don't really want to let him out right away until he's a little more settled so that way I don't worry about him leaving. I am going to pick up a collar and a leash for him today when we go out because the lady we got him off she had him on a collar and on a leash when we got him so I feel like maybe that would be a good idea just for the first couple days to make sure he stays close by 
and kind of is used to just being with us and being in this new place. So we're really excited to grow our farm and to pick up the two more goats. Oh, and we're getting a cow. So we're picking up two goats and a cow, um, I think on Friday. So the cow for now is probably gonna just go at the back where the pigs were. And uh, we'll put the goats in with him. See how that goes. All right, well, see you in the next one. Wish us luck, we're new to goats, so this is fun. It'll be interesting.